Hi everybody, I hope you're all well on this fine Easter Sunday day. Um, the weather is lovely. Uh, I hope it's as lovely with you as it is here. Um, and we've got lamb today. Um, anyone who's watched the last vlog, which was the lamb shank, the tiny lamb shank that I made um, a lamb slow cooker stew with, um, this is the lamb, the leg, what's left which is quite substantial. Um, and then if any of you watched the last vlog, you'd know that me and Valerie went halves on that. Um, uh, and I fully explained it in the last vlog. Um, she doesn't normally pitch in, but she really fancied lamb. Um, and we've got to go halves. And I'm going to give her extra as well, because, yeah, she deserves it. So I'm going to show you all the ingredients. This is a roast, lamb roast. Um, I'm not, it's not about the roast. It's about cooking the lamb with the probe in the Ninja Jewel, um, which I'm really excited about, and I'll plate it all up, um, etc. Um, lamb, oh, absolutely. And la uh, we really enjoyed the the, la the lamb stew. Um, even though the meat was very minimal, um, but you know, back in the day, that's what stews and casseroles were all about, making the most out of a small amount of meat. And we, you know, didn't have much. <laughs> so yeah, come and see the ingredients. The, so there's the star, the lamb, and I've already um, put rosemary in, but that's because I have did an intro earlier, but forgot to turn my mic on and it was silent, which was really annoying. So I do have a time lapse of that, which I'll, which I'll put in after this. Um, the Yorkshires, I've already done them. They're looking splendid. We've got honeyed parsnips, potatoes, carrots, peas, and cabbage. So yeah, I'm going to be putting the um, lamb in soon, um, and that's where you'll next see me. Uh, well, apart from the time lapse of the rosemary, um, and we'll see how the probe does with the lamb. That's that's the primary focus for this vlog, really. Um, lamb won't be a regular thing, as lots of you will feel similar. I mean, this cost. In fact, this was like eleven pound, which was the best price that, that we could get in um, in uh, the supermarket in Lidl. Um, some of them are like £25 for a leg, but they were from um, the West Country. This is New Zealand lamb. So obviously the price varies depending on where it's, the lamb is sourced from. So it's a real treat, a real treat. And I hope you're all having a lovely day. I really do. Um, this will probably go out on a Wednesday. So we'll be sort of well past it. But, you know, I hope you, ha you had a lovely day. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, um, I forgot to turn my mic on again. What a wally. Um, so here I am inserting the probe into the lamb leg. And uh, uh, then I put it back down because I remember to wash my hands because I want to put water into the uh, basket. This is really for the gravy to collect the juices. Um, I love doing this. I'm going to do this again for sure. Um, it makes the best gravy. It really does. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you know to do this already. Uh, yeah, back to the lamb. So yeah, I'm going to put it in. Oh, those Yorkshires look good. Um, tiny bit of juice there. Everything's better than none. And I'm going to be seasoning it in a minute. I only have what I had in the stock in the house. A bit of olive oil. Um, some salt and some pepper. Yep, simple seasoning, and then put it back. I do know I remember to put the mic on in the next clip, so uh, this will be the uh, the end of voiceover Kerry. Thank you for listening. Let's cook it. Let's cook this beast. Okay, so we want a little roast. It's going to be large preset, so I think I'll choose it over here. No, that's the one. So I want it medium. Yeah. Right. We'll see you in a bit. 
I'll do updates as I'm cooking, but yeah, that looks good. See you in a bit. Just an update, people. Uh, coming along the land, let's have a little peek. Oh, I tell you what, it's filling the house with the most lovely lamb smell. That's coming along nice. There's honey parsnips in there. Uh, that's peas, quickly turn that down. The Yorkshire's are ready, I'll bung them in to warm them up. Cabbage is waiting um, for the peas in a minute. And there's the Yorkshire's. Whoops, steam you up. They're, they're doing. So yeah, see you in a bit. Right, I'm stopping it at 60 because I don't want it. I think that's perfect, 60. It's uh, a medium. I don't know why it's going on to medium well. I'm sure I clicked medium, but hey, it's probably my mistake. Parsnips are nearly ready. Let's turn the peas back on because I need to put the cabbage in. I'm gonna let this rest. I wanna get it out. I've cleaned the plate and this will be good. Like someone said, you use a plate to collect the juices so I can use it in the gravy, which is the top tip. Um, yeah, because I did it with the beef, I put it on a chopping board, which was a bit of a mistake. So yeah, I'm gonna get this out and let it rest. And I'll have to put you down. Lovely. Right, let's get this. There we go. Put the probe over there. Now let's have a close look before I cover it in foil. Well, that looks fantastic. So I'm going to cover that in foil. And let's have a look at the juices. That's fantastic use them in the gravy. Okay, let's cover that in foil. I'll be back in a tick. It's just gravy granules, because it's nice and easy. But I'm gonna use the um, veg water before I put the juices in. The lamb juices, that is. That's, let's try this. So I just filled this up a little bit with the veg water. There we go, five bills. Valerie's and value has a bit extra um, because obviously she shared the cost and this is £2.42 per meal which is pretty damn good I think. Right I'm going to hurry up give that to Valerie give the, everybody their meals and come back for a taste test. See you in a bit. Oh oh my god mmm yum <laughs> thumbnail business oh so annoying oh god this looks good though Check it out, take a close look. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, Valerie was um, really chuffed with the extra pieces. She said I didn't need to do that, but you know, it's, it's nice. She's got something for tomorrow as well. Ooh, excuse the knife on plate. Let's check the lamb out, straight to business. Oh my God. so soft I'd, and I stopped it at 60 degrees in, internally I didn't really want to wait another five 
didn't need to and it's I'm glad I did absolutely delicious and the um oh air fryer uh, lamb and there was loads of juice juices left for the gravy the gravy is beautiful and that's gravy granules pimp up your gravy granules it's so easy mm. good roast I do love my roast look at that I mean that perfect and I forgot the parsnips oh so annoying never mind I'm gonna go to join the family for our dinner and I hope you all had a lovely Easter um, take care and I'll see you on the next one bye oh best roast ever